Hey artist friends and fans, um, just thought I'd do a quick little video and I think we could all use some relaxation lately, anytime really, and uh, I'm just going to show you how sometimes I do a little free form painting or artwork uh, just for the fun of it and it's very relaxing and you might say it's a little bit like art therapy. Uh, so. Why don't you paint along with me? Okay, I'll show you what I've got. I've got some watercolor paper, and this is just uh, not really expensive, kind of a cheap, basic kind of watercolor paper, and it's it's good to use a cheaper kind of paper for this that you don't um, have to feel any kind of stress about, you know, messing it up or throwing it away. You want to be able to just be free and not worry about the price or anything. So I use this um, just sort of less expensive watercolor paper to do these fun, uh, relaxing kind of meditation type paintings. And then I have my watercolor palette. I'll show you what that looks like. That's the one I use every day. You don't necessarily need a big one like that. You can just have your paints laid out on a, even like a paper plate or something, it's fine. And then I have, these are water soluble pencils. Um, and then I have a couple of brushes in different sizes like these. And I have a regular pencil and I have a pen. Um, and this is just a ballpoint pen and some water and a paper towel and that's about all you need. You can use any kind of art supplies that you have on hand. You know, if you have regular colored pencils, if you have oil pastels, um, basically anything you've got, we're just playing around with color and lines and relaxing and having a good time. And this is not about making something perfect. This is about just having a good time. So when I'm gonna do this, usually what I do is I just start with plain white paper and maybe pick out a color I like. I'm just gonna get my watercolor brush a little bit wet in my water here. Dampen up, get it off on the paper towel there. And I'm gonna pick up a color from my palette that I think is pretty. And right now I'm just picking up a turquoise. I don't know if you can see it there. I'm just picking up a really pretty turquoise blue because I find it an attractive color. It always makes me happy. Turquoise makes me think about the ocean and um, just vacations and really nice things. So I'm going to just put this down in a stroke any way that comes to me. I'm not trying to paint anything or look pretty at all. It's just I'm just putting down some color. So I'm going to just just put it down there. Yeah. Okay, I like that. And um, now I'm going to get a little bit of another color and just kind of put another spot. So I'm just getting some color on the paper. Whatever colors you like, they don't don't think about whether they go together or not. And just make some marks. You know, have fun. Just make a couple little marks. You can blend it together. And like I said, I'm not trying to make anything, any kind of a representation of anything. It's not supposed to be a picture. It's just abstract. And I'm just putting down some colors to start. And you can even turn the paper around and let the color flow. You know, watercolor is great because it does these fun things on its own. And you can just let it flow, play with it. I think I'm going to get a little bit yellow. Uh, get some yellow in here. And we got a little color theory going on. Yellow and blue makes green. And um, I'm just making marks and putting color. It's just fun. You know? Enjoying how the colors play together. You get a little bit what you feel like is too much water. I mean, there's really no, no such thing, but turn it over like this and let it just blend. Yeah, you guys see that? When I felt like I had too much water, then, you know, it travels around and spreads out. And 
don't, just don't worry about where it's going. It's just fun. We're just watching the paint. So that's satisfying, I think. And now I'm going to use a different brush, a smaller brush. And maybe just make some, I'm going to get a little bit of this magenta, kind of dark, dark pink magenta color, a little bit red. And I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe polka dots. Yeah, I like that. That's fun. And what would happen, let's see what would happen if I put this red in here. Yeah, okay. And, you know, I'm not trying to make it look like anything. This is just play. I like this. I like the way this color accents or contrasts with the blue. Maybe I'll make it a little brighter. Pink. Yeah. So just pick up different colors you like. You know, everybody has those colors they're attracted to. Some people it's brights. Other people it's uh, more like pastels. I'm turning it around. Some people like cool colors. Some people like warm colors. Just whatever color you're drawn to. And sometimes it's fun to use a color you aren't drawn to. Just to see what happens. Like, I'm picking up this sort of orangey color. Just out of curiosity, I'm just going to see what... Ooh, look at that. Did I see what that did there? That orange color is blending in. Oh, see? Surprise, surprise. I thought I didn't like that, but it looks pretty cool. And maybe a little bit right there. Oh. Ah, okay. I like that. Okay, and then if you want to keep painting like that, you can, but I've got my watercolor pencils, and these are water-soluble, which means that if you draw with them like that, they look like just a regular colored pencil, right? And this is, um, let's see, I'll show you the box. These are called Super Color by... Aquarelle and the company is Carandosh. And they come in, well, these are actual ones, but they come in all these different colors. And they're fun to play with because you can use them either dry or wet. So you can see where I did this. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make some scribbles. Okay. And now if I take a brush and touch this with water, you'll see what happens. I'll show you. See? It turns from pencil into watercolor. But you can still kind of see the pencil lines underneath. Now if you take a pencil like this and go into the place where it's already wet, you get a totally different technique. See? So, and you can also dip it in the water. And so I'm just going to play around like that. A little water. I can steal from here. Dry. And I'm going to fill up this little spot right here. Yeah. Sometimes I like to just fill in holes. Like, just pick a color and kind of color in the little spots in between. I don't know, it's fun. And meanwhile, while I'm doing this, the watercolor is drying a little bit so that I can um, go back over the top of it maybe with some pen, something like that. And you can do this, you can get another color now that this is drying a little bit and put dots in here and they'll spread out a little. The more water you have on your brush, the more they'll spread out. 
I like dots. And it's kind of like Bob Ross. There's no mistakes. You're just having fun. See how that spreads out? It's kind of cool. And I'm going to turn it around a little bit. See what, what looks intriguing to me. I'll watch this. You can see this paint going down here. If you turn the paper and let it run along the edge, it'll stay in the We'll see in the line there. Alright. Yeah, and you can just put some music on while you're doing this and look at the colors. Think about what you like. What colors you like. Maybe do a whole painting with your just your favorite colors. Or maybe mostly your favorite colors and a couple colors you hate just for fun you could use all black and red or only darks if that's your jam I'm gonna see if what this looks like if I put some dark I've got a black water soluble pencil I'm gonna get some darks in here There's no right or wrong here. None. You're just playing. Maybe I'll make some, just some weird marks. It's like doodling, but more colorful. They're sort of like a coloring book, but you're making your own. Any of you guys like spirals like this? I like, I really like spirals for some reason. Hmm. See now, I looked at that and I was like, I don't like that, but this is just about play, so. I don't know. There's no wrongs. Hmm. The pink goes in there. We've got pink going in there. How about some more pink? Since I didn't like that so much. It's just a ballpoint pen, I think. Yeah. <laughs> There's that spiral again. Hmm. Sometimes I like to just outline things. And this is where this starts to be like a meditation. You're just breathing. Just breathing and making lines. Are you breathing or holding your breath? Hmm. 
Sometimes I like to turn the paper around. Just keep turning it around until I see something. You know, kind of like you look at the clouds in the sky and sometimes you go, oh, that's a rabbit. Look, it's a shark. I see sharks a lot. I don't know why, but a lot of times clouds look like sharks to me, but kind of turn it around until you see something maybe. Like, I don't know, this kind of looks like a wave crashing. This looks like a whale or a fish. You guys are going, what? I don't see that. Maybe like a seahorse? I don't know. That looks like a whale or a fish too. Maybe it's just a car. Okay, so I think for some reason this looks like a whale to me. So I'm going to give him a tail. for fun. Let's see. But I'm still not trying to make it look perfect. I'm just, just a little bit of an accent. And So I just put that little whale tail, some, some dark blue. Yeah. So you see how if I had just started off saying I was going to paint a whale, there's no way it would have looked like this. There's no way it would have been this colorful and interesting. And this is way more fun. It just turned into a whale, but it could turn into something else. I don't know. I'm sticking with my whale theme, so I'm going to give him a little water to swim in. And maybe this is the deeper, deeper water. Maybe these are a little currents. Ah, I didn't yell. Okay, so these are little fish. These are little fish swimming. Whoops. How about orange? I'm kind of in orange all of a sudden. These are, oops, see, I splattered and that's all right. These are going to be little, little fish swimming. I don't know. Maybe. Can you guys see my whale? I'll move the camera up a little bit. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe I'll uh, have a good time to let it dry for a second and have a sip of wine or whatever you're drinking. Iced tea. Quarantini. <laughs> yeah, so I might sit here and just uh, have a little sip of wine and let the paint move around. Let the paint have a party. So you're having a party. The paint and you are having a party. You're just having a good time. So maybe I'll give my whale an eye. This kind of looks like an eye. How about there? There. <laughs> I'm starting to 
look more like a whale, maybe? I don't know. Where does his mouth go? I don't know. Where does a whale mouth go? Down here like this? Um, you know what? It's just about fun. So I'm not trying to make that like perfect anatomical whale. I don't know. I'm just making lines. I'm going to use a blue pencil to see what that looks like. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. See, I like that. So you just mess around until you see something you like. And when you find something you like, do more. <laughs> kind of like the secret to life. When you find something you like, do more. Hmm. Maybe this is the surface. Hmm. Wave. I'm putting these little wave shapes up here. Alright, well, that was just a few minutes. Had a good time there. You can keep doing this for an hour. Just keep adding things. You can come in with a pen once it starts to dry a little bit. The pen doesn't work very well on wet, but you could come in here and just start coloring things in, and make little shapes. And one thing I find is really cool is if you turn it away from what you thought you were drawing. Like if you decided, like I did, that that was a whale. Get away from that whale idea. Turn it upside down. And then just start thinking about it in terms of having fun again. Maybe I'll draw some leaves. I don't know why, but I had that idea, so I'm going to do it. Just repeat shapes. Like, I really like this section right here. Can you see that? So I'm going to leave that alone because that's my favorite part. I'm going to outline these. idea why I'm doing this. It just came to me. I just wanted to. It's relaxing. I'm just outlining things. I'm not trying to be perfect. Maybe I'll outline this. Might not be. Yeah, it's dry enough. There we go. Oh, see, it's wet there, so it wouldn't make a line. But
Okay. Well, that's been about almost half an hour. So I'm going to stop. But you could keep going. If you're watching this, just keep going. Add colors. Let it dry. Turn it around. Take a sip of wine. See that? I don't know. I don't have my my whale there anymore, but I kind of like it the way it looks this way. Maybe I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this right here. It feels empty. I fill it up there. It felt empty. I'll go up here and fill this in too. I don't know, it feels like it needs filling in, so I'm doing it. No mistakes. Everything's just coming out the way it's supposed to. And you know, if you make a total mess, if you hate it, toss it in the trash. Take a deep breath and maybe start another one. I don't know, maybe start it another day. It's about just relaxing and there. I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think? Okay, I hope that was fun. Bye.